Research from the Babraham Institute has developed a method to time jump human skin cells by 30 years, turning back the aging clock for cells without losing their specialized function. The researchers have been able to partly restore the function of older cells and rejuvenate the molecular measures of biological age. The research was published in the journal eLife, and it could revolutionize regenerative medicine. As we age, our cells' ability to function declines and the genome accumulates aging marks. Regenerative biology aims to repair or replace these cells. One of the most critical tools in regenerative biology is our ability to create induced stem cells. These cells have the potential to become any cell type. The process results from several steps, each erasing some of the marks that make cells specialized. But scientists still can't reliably recreate the conditions to re-differentiate stem cells. Based on the technique that scientists use to make stem cells, the new method overcomes the problem of entirely erasing cell identity by halting reprogramming part of the way through the process. This allowed researchers to find the precise balance between reprogramming cells, making them biologically younger while still regaining their specialized cell function. The entire process of stem cell reprogramming takes 50 days using four key molecules called the Yamanaka factors that play a vital role in creating induced peripotent stem cells. In 2007, Nobel Prize winner Shinya Yamanaka was the first scientist to turn normal cells into stem cells that have the unique ability to develop into any cell type. The new method, called maturation phase transient reprogramming, exposes cells to Yamanaka factors for just 13 days. At this point, age-related changes are removed and the cells have temporarily lost their identity. The researchers gave the partly reprogrammed cells time to grow under normal conditions to see if their specific skin cell function returned. Our understanding of aging on a molecular level has progressed over the last decade, giving rise to techniques that allow researchers to measure age-related biological changes in human cells, said Dr. Diljeet Gill, who conducted the work as a PhD student. Genome analysis showed that cells had regained markers characteristic of skin cells, or fibroblasts. This was confirmed by observing collagen production in the reprogrammed cells, the potential applications of this technique are dependent on the cells not only appearing younger, but functioning like young cells too. To show that the process had rejuvenated the cells, the researchers looked for changes in the hallmarks of aging. The team tested the partially rejuvenated cells by creating an artificial cut in a layer of cells in a dish. They found that their treated fibroblasts moved into the gap faster than older cells. The reprogrammed cells matched the profile of ones that were 30 years younger compared to the reference data sets. This approach holds promise for valuable discoveries that could open up an amazing therapeutic horizon, said Professor Wolf Rake, Babraham Institute's epigenetics research program leader. This research could eventually be used to create cells that are better at healing wounds and may also open up other therapeutic possibilities in age-related diseases and symptoms. Thank you for watching. And please, don't forget to subscribe.